Hi, my name is Edward Ver. I'm a account manager at Cisco Systems and I manage um, a field of 60 accounts. And I will tell you today a little bit what my path was and where I want to go and uh, what you can learn from my mistakes. So at the beginning, I was a sales promoter, a person who stands in a in an electronics store and tries to sell products of a specific company to clients, to prospective clients. And uh, I had to walk up to those people, strike a, up a conversation with them, talk about their needs, in the end, uh, close that, right? And then report it to the company. Um, so I did like that job a lot, quite, quite a lot. I did it a couple of years. And at the end of my degree, business administration, I had to decide what do I want to do next? Should I do accounting? Should I work a lot in Excel or should I do or customer work trying to increase the revenue for a company? And I decided to let the latter because I wanted to be in direct contact with people because I found out that I am more on the extroverted side and I actually enjoy talking with people. But I believe it's not a prerequisite to be extroverted, to be a good salesperson. And so I uh, applied for Cisco for their graduate pro traineeship program. I did their sales traineeship in which uh, I had to do role plays uh, where we um, played uh, sales conversations. And after that, I got into an SDR position where Cisco gave me their not important accounts with which they didn't have and haven't done business in the last few years. And this was very challenging because talking to somebody, um, even Cisco is a quite known name, but when I called them, they were not really yeah sure why i'm calling them and i had to get their interest and get get the conversation going somehow so i learned a lot there um and especially i learned one thing you got a call with a real cool good topic on hand which want which will raise their interest which will make them want to talk to you after that, I, grad I graduated, luckily, from the program and got um, promoted into an account management position, which by theory is easier because you are actually talking to accounts who have bought from that company before. So first thing, get into the office, but not always. We do have a home office policy, so I could theoretically stay at home, but one tip as I don't know if it's a tip, but me personally, it helps a lot to go to the office. I'm a lot more productive than being at home. So <laughs> I think if I can give you one tip uh, is to try both and see where you're more, more effective. Me personally, I like to have uh, people around me and that really motivates me to, to be active, to get up and, you know. Uh, sales is a lot about energy. If you're low mood, if you don't have energy, it's hard to call somebody because you don't feel in the topic and uh, in, in, you don't feel like it. Once I'm in the office, I talk to my SE. So we have, um, uh, I have a counterpart um, who is the account SE. That person knows about all of my accounts as well. And they know they are the people who drive more of the technical conversation. So that's already after I created the demand, after we spoke to the partners. Um, then it's, it's time for my technical team to actually show the customer how we can solve a problem in a technical way. How is this done? Uh, is, for example, we do this by delivering a demonstration. So once I talk to those people, mm, it's time to actually go through emails. I would, I'm not sure if, if that's the best way of doing it, but yeah, you need to go through emails as well and answer those. I think it's even better to do the proactive things before that, but it's very challenging because once you have the email application opened, 
you will have the desire to finish that first. One can be more successful if one prioritizes everything which is harder to do. And being proactive, reaching out to people is harder than reply to some emails. Okay, I replied to those emails. I looked at everything which our partners have, um, have managed to do, the deals they have registered with us as a vendor. And then it's time to also reach out to people I haven't spoken before or to also reach out to people I have spoken before because um, a relationship, in my opinion, only develops if I reach out to that, those people multiple times. If I only talk to them one time, even if it's a great conversation, a, per, a relationship won't develop. And then what fills my day very often is meetings that are somehow pre-scheduled. It can be escalation calls <laughs> with customers who have bought something but who are not there yet. It can be some, some internal calls as well, but then it's also partner alignment calls uh, to get aligned on the status of specific opportunities and ways we can move those opportunities forward. So I would say half of the time is um, spent on meetings and talking. Half of the time is spent organizing it going through through our systems to to get all the data i need to do my work most effectively to to spend the other half where i talk um, to have the information i need and when i'm actually in vienna for example i try to have three customer meetings per day one in the morning one for lunch and one in the afternoon. I found this ratio to be perfect because in between you also need to travel and you also need to reply to many things that come in. And if you do more conversations, if you have more meetings than that, those things uh, won't be done, which is also bad. So you need to find, find a healthy mix for you, but tend on the side of being too proactive and a little bit less reactive.